up you guys, it's Donna. welcome back to my channel. Okay, so we are day five into this whole like my week, my first week as a trauma PA thing. Um, so another story time for you guys. This day was a lot different than some of the other days because I was not on the trauma service this day. Um, I was actually on general surgery and as you all know, I've told you that I'm, I was hired on as like a general surgery PA that will cross train in trauma slash like you're both. So it's just kind of a, a pretty interesting situation to be in job wise because you're getting training in both of these specialties. And although they are like, you have to, to be a trauma like surgeon or a trauma PA, like you need to know general surgery stuff. So although they're similar in that sense, you actually like, they're still kind of far apart in terms of some of the things that they do. So, um, seeing that I would be expected to know like general sur surgery things, I felt like it would behoove me <laughs> to actually go and see what a general surgery PA does. So, um, today I actually did that. Um, there wasn't really like a designated general surgery PA on the like on the schedule for today. So it was more so like I was with the residents, which was cool because you are gonna work hand in hand with them anyways, and they're there to help you and you're there to help them. So um, it was just cool getting to know them um, and see basically like how things move. So we do all of the same things like sign out, get report, all of that stuff. But after that, um, it's more so just kind of like following up on those patients. So it's not just like going down to the trauma bay and waiting for a trauma to come. Um, it was literally, I'm going to the floor and I'm checking in on the patients and making sure like they really had no events overnight. Um, their pain is well controlled. Um, all the patients that may have had surgeries the night before, be it emergent or urgent, um, whatever the case were that those particular surgeries are doing well, like, you know, sutures or staples are still in place like the wound looks well it's clean dry intact um you know the ostomy site looks good so that's what i really did um i got to put in an ng tube um which i think uh what the resident told me was that typically like the nurses put in the ng tubes but if they are having a difficult time like they'll call the pa or the resident to come help out and so we got to like put in an ng tube which was cool which is a nasogastric tube so it goes up into your nose, down into your stomach. And we typically use those uh, if people's stomachs are like distended, like meaning bloated and tight. Um, and we kind of want to decompress them. Like maybe they have a lot of bile in their stomach or something along those lines. So got to do that in someone, which was cool. It was a little bit difficult and it was like a little sad as well because they were older and, you know, like, oh, please stop. Like, please. Because, you know, if you're like, if they're fighting you and they're not like opening up that like airway and like their throat and esophagus, like it can be difficult to get the tube down. So um, it was a little bit of a struggle, but we made it and like got all of that like excess bilious fluid out, which was cool. I think it was about like 450 cc's of fluid that we got out. Um, and then I also got to pull out a coli cystostomy tube. Um, so it's typically put into the gallbladder, like for a drainage of like the gallbladder and stuff if it's not working well. But um, this particular tube wasn't doing what it was supposed to do. So I got to pull that out and, you know, just bandage it up. So it was cool. It was like a pretty like interesting light day in terms of just doing those things that didn't have any consults all day, but that is something that the general surgery PA and the residents typically do. Like if there is a surgery consult, you will go and see that. Like I told you guys, I did that. Um, I believe it was on Monday or something like that. I, I don't remember what day it was, but it was one day this week where um, I got consulted for an, a hernia. And if I didn't tell you that story, I did get consulted. <laughs> for a hernia. If you want to hear more of my stories, you guys have to just keep coming back. So like, it would be good for you to subscribe to my channel right now and like this video, but honestly, and you'll hear more of these stories, but, um, yes, I did get a consult for, um, a hernia. 
um, bilateral hernias, inguinal hernias, which was actually pretty cool to like feel and palpate and see that whole process. Um, and then again, let's uh, address the elephant in the room, right? So yes, I do have an accent. I think I wrote that on my other video. Um, it tends to come out when a, a lot when I'm around my family, when I'm talking to my mom, if I'm extremely tired or if um, I'm angry. So, and then like it's there just in general for like words like comfortable or vegetable or tomato or pardon. So those, that is me. Yes, I do have an accent. My um, five-year-old thinks that I'm talking Spanish when I speak in my accent, but no, I am very much talking English and I'm from Trinidad. So that's why I have an accent, okay? Uh, so let's just address that. But that was it, that was my day. Um, I really, it's interesting and I'm interested to see, I guess, a little bit more on what I will be doing um, when I'm that third PA, like on the general surgery service. Um, and again, I will give you guys all the information on that as I get it myself. I'll try to keep you guys as updated as possible. Um, but yeah, I, I'm, I'm enjoying my time learning. And so if you guys take anything away from like all of these different story times that I'm talking to you guys about, yes, they're like exciting, interesting things that are happening, but ultimately at the end of the day, it's all about learning um, because I wanna be a great PA. And so uh, I need to continue to study and I'm still doing that. Like I'm still looking things up and studying and looking at, you know, doses of things so that um, when it's on me, like solely, I'm making the best decisions for my patient. And so um, hopefully you guys can take that away and, you know, apply that to your specific um, field of study or, you know, if you are in undergrad, like apply it to that, you know, just do what you can to study and better yourself. All right. So if you have any questions for me, please leave them in the comment section below. I will be doing like a QA and a um, at the end of the week. And maybe I can, if you guys keep leaving me questions, I can continue to do this and make this something that I, I do at the end of the week um, for you all just to answer some of these questions for you. But I'll leave that in the comment section below. Um, don't forget to follow me on Instagram like this video and subscribe. Thank you guys so much for watching. I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.